you know, it's one of those things you, you know that horizon is coming. It's inevitable. You start the game out, you know it's coming, but you're not really sure when it comes, how it's going to come, and what you're going to be able to put in place. And the thing is, is the best laid plans never turn to, never seem to turn out the way you expect them to. So I had, uh, I had envisioned, I had tried to always stay educated, be in school. That's what my parents always kind of tell me, just try to pick up a trade. So I tried to do as much as I could on my own semi-interning, learning, you know, taking up a few classes here and there at the community college just to kind of see where would I want to fall into it, what would I want to do post-career, just kind of preparing for that horizon. Just uh, d directions just took a whole bunch of different way, but it was just, that was that, knowing it is there, actively trying to work towards that transition. It has ebbs and flows, it has its up and downs. It had good times, it had it was some rough times, you know, t times you're kind of trying to manage the quasi life in between, but expectations is hard. <laughs> Ended up, I still play, I played arena ball a little bit after I finished playing the NFL and I played NFL Europe. But then over there, I was, I was born in Nigeria, so I did go back to Nigeria during the time, during the times that I was off and I was trying to really trying to figure out okay come back stateside try to stay in Nigeria try to really get back in touch with I hadn't had the opportunity to come since I left when as a small child until I started going back after my rookie year so it was trying to I guess take a grasp of it from both sides and at the time I think we were heavy into the economic downturn so I you know you literally watch your 401k just <laughs> take a nose dive <laughs> investors taking a nose dive jobs are uh, going away so it was like one of those times you're just like wow it's looking it's not looking too bleak and the, i worked on my resume polished it up did everything i could but i always ran into one question mark or one problem and the whole hurdle was always is how do i account for those years that i was playing football from the years that you graduated because it always came up it was like well we see you graduated college at this date, but nothing, you're coming into your experience at this date. Where's, what happened in those gaps in those years? And when you start to try to explain, it's like, oh, it's interesting. It gets the eye shocking, but then it's like, well, how does that transi transition into, or how is that applicable to what the job market really was? And that was, the, that was the, uh, the hardest part is, okay, well, I need to make up for those years but I need the opportunity to make the experience, but they're looking at somebody who's a recent grad. The, the biggest thing for me personally was plugging me up. They were like, they knew my situation is like, and not being able to fall under any insurance per se. And actually not just saying, well, you come here for this two days, three days, and that's pretty much it. We give you a packet, we give you a readout, we tell you recommendations and here you go and send you on your way. No, they're actually it's like, he's been calling and trying to get you plugged in and say, well, let us know what we can do. Let's see what steps we can do. Let's see what we can work with. Let's see if we can meet, fill some gaps that are ain't not being filled or at least bridge some gaps between the whole, I said the holistic of the things. So it's been a great experience thus far. What, what is helping me is that it's, it's really helped me to identify a lot of, like I said, a lot of things that I didn't know and didn't think were there. Uh, the one thing is hard for us as guys is they always say, you know, you, when you, you have a lot of, you say you, you know someone by their circle or their peer, their peer of influence, circle of influence. Well, when all your circle of influence got problems, everybody's normal. <laughs> and so that's so all of us was like, all the retired guys, when we get, that's our circle of influence and that's how we kind of gauge everything from. So as far as we were all concerned, None, everybody was fine. Maybe, you know, bad knee here and there, a little bit of weight, you know, some scar tissue, that kind of, I mean, stuff that we, it was just normal. But not until getting to UNCC and going through that stuff till you start really like breaking that stuff down. Like, hey, you need to really watch this. This is what this really means in relation to somebody your age that's non-football non or non-sports related and where you should be watching and monitoring. And then you're like, oh, Oh, I didn't. I, I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was more so like a, a physiotherapy type thing. Something that'll just work on your physio. 
But when they started adding the nutrition, the food, the eating, I mean, they put you on a, a strict diet, tell you how to eat, made it simple. Little little cards, gave you the, uh, your meal plans and your sheets and everything. They made it very simplified. And even if you had certain nuances like, well, I, do, I like this or I do this or I, I'm, whatever you put in, they kind of worked within that and plugged it into a system and it kind of made something that was just for you. Um, it's, I think it's, it's made me more aware of, uh, of eating post-career and how to eat and how to make it simple, how to look at stuff and make it, and, and really more, my, more so my diet. Um, as far as the workout part of it, I mean, it, it gave you some pointers, but let's face it, we, I mean, we, we've been working out all our lives on the whole bunch of, through injuries prior to post. So it really, but it really did give you some things that you could do to really work on the core and add it to a different style of workout, I guess per se, than what we were doing for um, full physical. But is that right there in making it streamlining, I think was the biggest thing that just making it simple, making it easy was what they did. The YMCA is good in a sense because it's all the other stuff that <laughs> they're telling we need from exos, uh, brain body, um, uh, living heart found it. All of them incorporated some kind of activity and all my activities at, at the point were just lift walk getting up walking to the car driving stairs this and that I, you know those are just the things you could just put but they say well you need to increase if you can increase more get more get more that is what we said well everybody was well for me to go and get a membership to a gym that can get that we can get all that would be hard and to get it at a place where i would actually go partners you know when we worked out we always you always had a working partner even i mean my first for rookie, rookie season in the league, I remember whenever we had our post-conditioning or post-game workouts, whatever, you had a workout partner and your days were, you either had mornings during the week, two, two, three days a week, but you always had somebody you were paired with. Now you can go in the gym and not work out with them if you wanted, they just said, we're just gonna do our own, but you were paired up. Now after that, getting the getting the why now, I said, now we said, okay, we got it. You have a workout partner because you know, you just gotta figure out, one of the guys living in your town, living in your city. What side of town are you on? Hey, let's meet up. What time? What time is good for you? What time is good for me? We can start meeting up on these days. That is what is how the why I think has really helped, and to be able to have and the facilities they have, and to be able to use that in other whys because that was my semi drawback when I after I went through the exercise was, well, if I travel sometimes or if I'm not in my home city and I have a membership at this home gym, what happens? Well, now with the YMCA, we can use that membership at different YMCAs. That has probably been, a, for me, a game changer. To be honest with you, at first it was, I didn't know what to expect. You know, you it's one of those things that were, we've seen so, so many different programs come and go and some weren't attached with NFL, they were just an outsider, and you, you we, we never know. Sometimes it's just the chapter president has worked out something for the guys within that chapter and it's not replicated everywhere. So when the trust came along after being through so many of those, it's like, I'm not sure what to expect. One thing, get with a program manager, just, you don't even have to know, you don't even have to know what it is you need. Just get involved first, and that's literally how I started. Get it, call, program manager and just have a conversation that's all it is just have a conversation hey this is what I've done this is where I've been at this and that this and that from there you'll start finding out other things that you didn't know the trust did or the trust had available for you to actually look into or to take advantage of then from there it just transitions into the next but the main thing is you got to get involved first I am Troy Pelshek and I am the trust